Hmm. Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. Uh, this is episode number 475. And today's topic is clean, starting with a clean slate. And because of the timing of the day and everything, I'll get into that in a second. Before I start with the topic, let me introduce myself, which is this. Or who is? Let me introduce myself. <laughs> my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business, and to create life, balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. Something's shifting, I can feel it already. So uh, let me continue. Um, every day I do these talks on Facebook Live initially, then go on to YouTube and my podcast. I'll tell you about those later. And the topic for, or the theme or the title for the whole series has been called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Actually, Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. I'll get the right one of these days. After 475 broadcasts, you think I'd have it down by now. And the topic today, episode number 475, is starting with a clean slate. And there's a reason for that. Um, if you're watching this live, you'll know. Or if you, well, no, let me say this. If you're watching this live and you're Jewish, you'll know that today is Yom Kippur. I should say today is the breakfast of Yom Kippur. In fact, I've been um, fasting today. I didn't do it right because I didn't actually stop eating before sundown yesterday. My bad. But I choose this fast today as part of my contribution to the conversation. And so breaking fast in about an hour, hour and a half. So you got me thinking, which tends to happen when I start thinking about things. And... One of the, th one of the um, principles, or one of the ideas about Yom Kippur is, in the Jewish faith, is really about a cleansing and a releasing before the new year. Because Rosh Hashanah was 10 years, 10 days ago. Usually it's 10 days. It is 10 days. And so it's a new year, but then Yom Kippur, which is 10 days later, is kind of the, okay, fully clear off, cleanse, release, forgive, let go, and make ready for the new year and embrace the new year the way you want it to be. And I'm thinking about how that applies to relationships, of course, because that's my area of expertise and my, and my philosophy. And I've talk, I was going to talk about the forgiveness, but I want to talk about more than that, because forgiveness is one of the active ingredients of, forgive, of, of cleansing. Okay. Forgiveness is an active ingredient of cleansing. Interesting. Okay, well, maybe it is. I'll get to that in a moment. How, however, or as well as, the idea of being in a relationship for some people is a continuum between people changing all the time where somebody comes in, somebody goes out, somebody else comes in, somebody else goes out. There's no gap in between. It's a continuous relationship. And I come from the perspective that that's not always a healthy perspective or a healthy way of doing things. In fact, what a lot of people do who don't do that sequential relationship back to back to back to back to back is they get, rid get out of one relationship either by choosing or by force the force being grief, hurt, wounding, pain, heartbreak, etc. And will spend a bunch of time limping along wounded and upset and hurt feelings until they feel safe enough to go and date again, then they date somebody else. And the same thing happened again and again and again. That's another way people do it. Now, what I want to make sure you get the point of is that neither one is effective. Well, let me, let me qualify that. If you just want to get into another relationship, it's effective. If you want a healthy relationship, it's not effective. Let's be clear about that. So the context I want to put on the table for you is if you've been in relationships um, that are sequential or haven't changed or they repeat themselves or the same heartbreak happens again and again with a different face, then, hi Michelle, nice to see you in my broadcast. Um, then there's a better way of doing it. And because this is, again, the, the end of the Holy Holidays, this is, this is uh, Yom Kippur, which is the 10th day, which is a day of cleansing, releasing and making... Uh, in a way, it's not as much resolutions as intentions and, and clarity for the new year. And so having an understanding that you could apply that to relationship may just change the way you do love and rom romance, put it simply. So you may be wondering what I mean by this or how I explain this. So here's the thing. Most of us aren't... No, let me say another way. I was going to go down that path. Let me try a different path. Most of us could find a better way of doing relationship. Let's say that. <laughs> Hi, Sheila. What's the topic? Um, the topic is well. The topic I started with is is um, what did I call it? Uh, cleansing. No, I didn't say that. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, to be honest, the title I forgot. But let me speak to what I'm speaking about so you understand where I am. My philosophy, my focus, my intention of speaking about this area of relationship is that for most people, relationships don't have any boundary in terms of end of a relationship, time to be with me, new relationship. That time to be with me is a game changer for most people. 
And what most people don't know or don't choose to or don't understand or don't realize is that the next relationship won't fix your past relationship. Now, most of us have been through enough relationships and have learned that lesson. A lot of people haven't. So hopefully you already know this one. However, on top of that, when you lend a relationship, it's kind of like using Yom Kippur as the model, the template, like Yom Kippur being this, this day of forgiveness, of cleansing, of releasing, of opening up to new things. There's a um, opportunity to transform your future from your past. And yet when we're in relationships, between relationships, we don't do that. And I'm, th I'm offering a suggestion, a recommendation, a, an invitation, that if you're single right now between relationships, this is the perfect time to do the practice of cleansing, releasing, self-forgiveness, making clear and getting intentions for where you want to go. Because most people, most people, tend to choose a relationship out of habit, out of another swipe on the, on the dating app, or somebody who's um, showing up in their lives, rather than being really clear about what you want. Now, my passion for this is helping my clients get clear in their vision, because most people don't have one. So first of all, get clear about what you want. Now, once you know what you want, you may realize that what you had before doesn't match that. In which case, you may want to think about the fact that there's work to do between what was the past and what is going to be the future. Because if you don't change, clear up, cleanse, release, heal that past baggage, and I'm glad you agree, Sheila, then your future is going to be copying the past. It doesn't matter what your intention is. Now, I talked about this before as the paradigm about how we raise as kids and everything else, but I want to speak to this from another point of view as adults, that we tend to repeat cycles of behavior by default. It's easy to say, I'll do it differently next time. But when you look back after the next time and go, I did it like last time, that's a clue that maybe you aren't doing it the right way. And one of the ways you can do it more effectively is to, is to put a full stop, a period after your last relationship that completes it, that signs it off, that summarizes it, puts it in a little bow and says goodbye to it. Then you can have a vision for a new relationship that's not cluttered up and, and um, dragged down by the past. This is a game changer for people. Yes, exactly, Sheila, a vicious cycle. I talk about it as being serial relationships is one of the ways that one of my teacher puts it, which is that basically we do the same relationship with different people again and again and again. This is another way of fixing that. So again, using the template I'm talking about with Yom Kippur as the teaching, for those of you who are the Jewish faith, you know that tonight is the, is the uh, breaking of the fast, which I'm looking forward to because my stomach's been growling all day, <laughs> um, is that we take the time to be present, to give thanks, to bless and release what came before so we can start with a clean slate of what we, become, what we want in the future. Because for most of us, what we want ahead of us is, what, is different from what we had in the past behind us. And in relationships in particular, we tend to not do anything consciously to change the wiring of what happened before. It's kind of like the idea when you're walking through a, um, a field, that if there's nothing there, you just have this, this wide open field of grass and you walk through it, you make a little track through the, through the path. And if you take the same path time and time again, you start, you start to see that there'll be a slight mark in the grass. It becomes more repeated. And I used to joke about this a long time ago, but it's still relevant. There's, they call them cow paths, because what happens is cows in the fields tend to follow a similar path or through, through the forest or through the meadows, whatever, follow the same path. So they actually start to tread down the grass and end up creating this path through the grass that is not necessarily a straight line, but it's in that direction and I get to a point, so trust me, I get to a point on this, where they're basically walking through and what's happening is the grass is being bedded down. Eventually it's being dried out because the footprints of the cows, because they're big, big boys and girls, they walk through the grass and they leave a cow path. That cow path is basically a um, default path people follow after a while because most, most of the cows will go, well, that's the way to follow, so you go down the cow path. You don't go, let me try a new, pit, new way of doing it. People are the same way. So your relationship patterns are going to be the same thing, follow the same cow path. And I used to joke about how the fact is that some people think about, they said, well, I'm going to try a different path. But the truth is that cow path is so impossible to get out of. It's like, it's like being forced into a valley. And some people it's that deep, where to change their wiring, their programming is impossible because they're stuck in the bottom of the valley. They can't climb out to try a different relationship. So every relationship you choose is the same as the last one because you're stuck in this rut, literally, or figuratively speaking. So my advice to you, my suggestion to you, my counsel to you is, if you notice that your relationships are repeating themselves, different faces, different names, maybe different behaviors, but the same patterns have showed up, maybe the same words happen, maybe the same behaviors happen, maybe the same issues showed up, that's a clue. Heed the clues of your past. They will tell you about your future. 
And part of my work with my clients, which I'm very clear about, is it's about resolving the past, clearing out the past, making clear a pathway for where they want to go so they can erase that cow path and start fresh. And if you're somebody who needs that help, reach out to me and I'll give you some links at the end of this. But the point I want to make clearly is that there's, a, there's no time like the present in which to do this. Today is a special day for, for those of the Jewish faith. I'm not Jewish by practice, I'm Jewish by birth, um, but I've been very much a spiritualist for years. But I happen to be around people who are Jewish, so tonight we're celebrating together and I'm like looking forward to it, it's gonna be fun. But the recognition is, is that that's a teaching model that works. That I'm not saying the Jewish faith is, as a whole necessarily, but this piece of it, which is that we have the choice to erase our past cycles, as Sheila put it, by having a new path laid down. And part of the work to do that is to erase the old one. It's kind of like the, it's hard, using another analogy comes out of the blue. If you want to repaint a wall, a different color than the wall, color that was there before, it's good to put what they call primer down first. Priming paint is a neutral color gray that basically hides anything underneath it so you can paint a new color on top. Well, if you don't put down a new primer, if you don't clear out the old path, you're gonna put, you end up seeing the old color will show through. Same thing is true in your relationship challenges. Doesn't matter if you don't want to do the same thing again. If you try to set up a new intention, the old relationship patterns are going to show up through that new vision. I think I've made enough, I've used enough um, metaphors. I think you got the point. So my suggestion to you is if you are someone who's really tired of doing the same old thing again and again, try something different. Reach out to me and have a talk. And to give you those links quickly, um, I do offer a complimentary clarity session always to my first time clients. If you want to sit down and talk, you can have a free conversation with me. It's a chat, in fact. That's why you go to barryselby.com, my website, barryselby.com forward slash chat. I'll put the link in the comments below afterwards. One of the ways that will, will change your paradigm for a relationship is to stop looking at the, out there for love first. Love yourself first. Always love yourself first. The secret to healthy relationships is loving yourself first, which is why um, I created a self-love practice, which you can also get from my website, which is barryselby.com. Again, forward slash self-love or one word. I invite you to check it out. It has guided meditations, a, a guidebook, and a lot of stuff in it that's going to help you get what you want by starting inside. Um, those are the two things I want to promote. Oh, there's one other thing I want to promote because I'm mentioning this because I'm doing a webinar. It's been moved now to next Thursday, not next Wednesday. And it's, it's called Love, Boundaries, and Healing. It's a free webinar you can sign up for if you go to my website. I'm about to redo the page, but it's there if you want to go and sign up now, which is barryselby.com forward slash LBH webinar, as in love boundaries healing webinar um, or one word you can sign up for it right there um, again I'll put the links in the comments below if you haven't seen my broadcast before I do these on Facebook live initially they then get saved to my business page yes self love is key Sheila yes I'm glad you agree um, so business page on Facebook is where my broadcast gets saved which is Barry Selby author on Facebook on my YouTube channel is where I also put them as well the uh, username is my name Barry Selby and the playlist is messages from the masculine and on my iTunes podcast, which is also called Messages from the Masculine, you can search for it there. You can subscribe and uh, download my podcast, which is going to be all of these eventually on audio format. So with that, I thank you for watching. I've got to go get ready now because we're having uh, prep in about 10 minutes. And I invite you to have a pleasant evening yourself. Take this to heart. You deserve a good relationship, so stop choosing less than you deserve. Get the help you need, get some clarity, love yourself, and may have an amazing life. Back in tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I appreciate you being with me. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye.